Hi and welcome to Chiquita's Crochet. For this video we will be making a wheel cover, a steering wheel cover out of 100% cotton. I did mine uh, with scrap cotton which I like the results of the colors. Um, we'll be using 100% um, cotton, scrap cotton. I'm going to do it in a smaller size of course. Um, but I will show you how to end it. Uh, we're going to be using a glue gun. Why? Because we're going to put a non-slip on the inside of the wheel cover so it won't slip when you put it on. <clears throat> glue sticks, of course, enough for that. I'm going to be using a 4 millimeter hook. Okay, tapestry needle. I used a plastic one for this one. Some scissors. Maybe a stitch marker if you like. And um, you also will need probably for this big one, maybe three of the sugar and cream. Uh, depending on the yardage, but <clears throat> this very good it had less yardage so take in mind for the safety three of these three balls of these okay um i'll be back to begin the tutorial okay i forgot something to mention i measured the steering wheel for my car is 47 and 3 8 inch the end result to my steering wheel cover was 56 and a half, but don't worry. Uh, once you uh, put it on your wheel, steering wheel, it will fit. 100% uh, cotton, 4 millimeter. Uh, I did 185 chains, rows between 8 and 10 depending because certain cotton ones are thicker than others or thinner than others so for my big one I did 9 for this time and remember the non-slip great material and let's begin okay okay Make a slip knot, go over your thumb, fingers, around, cross, go under the first, on top of the second, and pull through, twist. You can let go or not, but you can make a chain from there. Oops, let's start again. I was making a magic ring. I'm sorry. You do the same thing. Under, over, and pull, and then cinch. Okay. Let's do a small version. It's going to be like um, even number, I believe. Plus two. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's make it an even twenty. Because there's only uh, two stitches to work with, two main stitches. Now we're going to close it up to the first chain with a slip stitch. Okay, we will be doing double crochet, single crochet, alternating. And yes, beginning with the, the chains. 
So round one is chain two. The chain two does not count as a stitch or any beginning chains from the beginning. And in that same stitch, we're going to do a double crochet yarn over. Go into that same one we came through, came out of, and then do a double crochet. Bring up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's how going to be the beginning of it. Okay, the next one's going to be a single crochet. So single crochet in the next. This yarn is a little splitty. So forgive me for that. Okay, single crochet. Yarn over for a double crochet. Go into the chain. Grab some yarn, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Yarn over and pull through two. Alternating. Now it's a single crochet on the next. Double crochet. And keep going all the way around and I'll meet you before I close this round. Okay. Now, sometimes it can be confusing at the end. But the easiest way to know that you're doing it right or have the right stitch amount, the last one before you um, go into the double crochet, the last one should be a single crochet. See, this is a double right here. Now we're going to do a single. Okay, that was, that was our last one. So... Now we're going to slip stitch on top of the double crochet to close round one. That is how it's going to look. Now we started with the double crochet. Now we're going to start with the, the alternating, which was the single crochet. So chain one, remember it does not count as a stitch. Go back into that stitch and do a single crochet. On top of the single crochet, we're going to do a double crochet. So, yarn over, go through the single crochet, get, grab some yarn, pull it through, grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn, pull through two. I was going to do a variegated on the second row so you can see very well, but I believe you can see it a little better. I can put it up. The way you can tell that if you pull on your stitches when there's a bigger gap like this that's your single crochet and that's why you can tell the next stitch is going to be single right here it has no gap hardly at all if you pull on it barely can see the hole so that's going to be a single crochet on top of a double crochet so single crochet is next double crochet alternating your stitches single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet Oop. okay so that's how you do that and do that all the way around and I'll meet you for around one more round and then I'll show you the rest okay okay now remember when I said I'm already at the end we started with a single crochet right here the stitch before that before we close <clears throat> excuse me will be a double crochet so we'll do double crochet and we close on top of the single crochet with a slip stitch now remember we're alternating changing the stitches row by row and each 
a stitch around. So we started with a single crochet and now we're going to do a double. So chain two does not count as a stitch. Yarn over and go again into the stitch and do the double crochet. Next stitch is single crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. I don't know if you can see how splitty this one is. But a good thing is it's just a swap swatch or a sample. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be right back and show you uh, the end of mine, and then we're going to do the non-slip on it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm with my big one here. I did nine rounds. Uh, you can do like I said, eight, nine, ten, depending on the thickness of your yarn or the thinness. So I'm going to do, this one was a double crochet, so we're going to do a single crochet before that one. Okay, end with a slip stitch on, on top of the double crochet. Pull your, I already cut my yarn. Pull your yarn. Okay. And we're going to try to hide the yarn more likely on the blue color um you can choose sides i'm gonna choose this side for the right side so i will do the hiding of the yarn on this side as best you can um for me this project is like mm, not that important to hide them but eh, it's best to do your best at uh, hiding these things, these tails, the best you can on any project, doesn't matter. At least for me, I try to. But if there's not enough or something happens, well, no big deal. Should have gotten a better, a better darning needle, but there we go. Just remember, don't cut into your project. Okay. Now, I'll be back with the glue gun. I, it wasn't on when I showed it at the beginning, so um, I need to heat it up, and then we'll come back and... Or meanwhile, I cut the stuff for the inside, the non-slip. Okay. Um... I just remembered I wanted to show you how much of the grip you might need. Okay. Remember to leave a little bit of space just like that because we're going to, when we put it on, we're going to need the needle to go through here. About, let's see. I have no idea how many, let's see. Mm -hmm. Believe me or not, I'm learning how to measure. So I don't know how much that is. <laughs> so leave about that much, okay, of space or a little bit less. Maybe that much. So that's how much we're going to do. And on the other side also, we need to cut. You can do a long strip, a short strip, in pieces. So basically, enough. Can you see that? Doesn't have to be perfect, but you get the idea. I'll do this off camera, but I just wanted to show you 
how how much to put on there okay okay I have uh, four strips ready to go I turned it inside out I got my safety little fingers things that came with the kit thank you Linda <laughs> I'm so used to doing everything by touchy feely fingers so here we go it's let me see how this goes I'm just gonna do zigzag. You can tell it's okay. No. Yep. Look at that. That's neat. Looks like spider webs. Well, I do recommend having some of these safety finger plasticies. I don't know what they're called. Pretty cool. Just going to keep going. Oh, it got stuck to itself here. I'm new to this. I do feel the warmth to the to the glue through these plastic uh, little safety finger gloves, I guess you can say, but it's not burning. So that's the one kind of a little tiny review here. It's pretty cool. It's neat. It does not burn you. You can feel it's warm, but it does not burn you. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going because my glue gun, I don't wanna leave my glue gun on for a long time. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, I am totally done from the inside. I changed little fingers here because they were getting really bad. Um, but they are tight on me a little, so I'm gonna take them off. It's medium size, apparently I need a bigger size. My finger went blue. But pretty good. I like these. And it comes off. So anyway, um, I finished doing the whole inside. Um, this was the last piece. So if you want to, you know, cut the excess or just leave it, you know. Um, I can leave it, but. I don't know if it's gonna be a good size for the for the wheel, so I'll just cut the excess. It's not that much anyhow. So that's how it's gonna be when you put it on. Just turn it back around. And um the putting on the putting this on on the wheel. Um all you do is put it like this at first, start with the top, and then when um, you need to cut a long, long piece, or if you want it in pieces, doesn't matter, because there are gaps in between you have to cut anyway. So what you do, you're going to do a tapestry needle through these loops right here. Let me see. Where is that? Here's my hook backwards but here it is you see these loops that's where and through the stitch so basically if you want to do two stitches that is perfectly fine because it'll leave it more sturdy and then try to match up the other side like this but with your darning you know you can go through here go around back through here and um you can do zigzag but this is better for me that way come back to the blue go to the green each 
little stitch yes i know each little stitch is a lot but it's worth it um if i have a helper to help me film a little bit of how to put it on the wheel i will have that video if not um i hope this works and um the explanation to it and you know when you're done just weave in your ends which color whichever color you're using um, blend it in so I hope to have some pictures later uh, maybe my Instagram cheekies dot blanquita that is my Instagram um, or Facebook Blah, uh, that one is chiquitas crochet so I'll see you there and hope you like it and I hope you like the idea non-slip I, this is the first time I do non-slip because the first one I did it without and it did move a lot so but it was on tight but it still moved um, front and back like this so this is new for me and I'll see if it, if it works I'm pretty sure it will because it's that's what it is for non-grip non-slip sorry Thank you for watching and hope you like, comment, please comment. I want to um, know what you think. Thank you and see you till next time.